Andrew at Evermore Studio with a quick velvet embossing update. Making a plate for a new design, I came up with an easier approach using 3M468MP adhesive transfer tape. I will put a link to what I used in the description. If you haven't seen my previous velvet embossing video, you should watch that. It goes into more detail on the whole process. This is all essentially the same as the previous project, but I replaced the wood glue mess with this thin adhesive film. Makes for an impressively strong bond, and the plate is holding up great in the heat press so far. I masked one side of my MDF board with the usual paper masking, but applied the adhesive film to the other side. The film cuts cleanly and safely in the laser, so I put the board in and ran the job. I took the cut pieces out, then lined up the sheet they came from with my backing board to use as a positioning guide. I peeled the backing paper off of the adhesive film and dropped each piece through its slot onto the backing board. Pressing down on the pieces with my pick tool set the adhesive. With all the pieces in place, I pulled off the guide, peeled the masking off the attached pieces, and had a perfect plate ready to go. I used the same technique as before to do the embossing. I did several pieces of dark purple velvet and ran a piece of green through for comparison. The purple velvet went straight into another little dice bag for someone special. I hope you found this useful and entertaining. I'm happy to answer questions in the comments or on the Evermore Studio site. Thank you for watching.